So, um, you guys are going to set up your addition problem, okay? Mm -hmm. And you're ready to go. What's the first thing you notice? If you're going to subtract, can you subtract 4 from 0? Look at your problem too. Okay, Emma? Pick up your pen. You can't take 0. You, you can't take 2. Take away 5 and make that 2. Aha. How come you went to the 5, Emma? Because there's 0. All of them were not any number. So you couldn't borrow, you couldn't take from the 0, right? Because 0 is nothing. Right. Okay. Then what? Then you. Take away from the 10. Uh huh. You just take away from the 10 and make the other one a 10. 10 take away from. What are you taking away? 10 take away what? Okay. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I'm gonna take away one, two, three. Okay. And then Emma, I noticed there's one thing that you there you go. Nine take away three. Do you see why she did made that a nine, Karina? Because she borrowed from from the tens place and made this a ten. Can you put a one in front of that zero so you know you made that a ten? Six again. Um, it would be. Oh yeah, good job. Okay. I always do from that way. Four take away two. It's two. four. Excellent. <laughs> You did it. Now, will you do the addition problem? I did not do the problem. You did that one? Well, let's let have, let's Emma walk us through. Can you get that number from your book? Remember your drops in the bucket? There you go. Is it 347? Um, let's see. Yes, it is. Does it matter where you put 347, Emma? Mm. It does matter if you line it up, right? Gotta go in the right eight, spots. Two, nine, eight, two, nine. Take away from the A, but they are numbers, not zeros. But you could borrow from the A. Right, this time we're just doing addition, right? So we're not gonna borrow. We might carry though, right? So what's what are you gonna add together first? What column? Nine plus seven. Yeah, exactly. Nine plus seven. Okay, so what number are you going to write under the ones place? Six. Great, yeah. Excellent. Now, what are you going to add together? Four plus two, and one more would be five. Six. Four plus two. Think about it just a little bit longer. Four and two. Seven. Yes, because you carry the one. Eight and three. Eleven. Right. Just drop it down. Excellent. <coughs> Where can you put the um, the comma? Right here. Yep. How do you know that? Because right, <coughs> right here would be one, <coughs> one eleven something. But it's actually in the hundreds. Yeah, it's you separate between the hundreds and the thousands, right? Okay, good job. Excellent job.